Hi friends, I am Ms. Sanka, and today we are going to read this story called The Empty Pot by Demi. This is one of my favorite folk tales. Folk tales are usually passed down from one generation to the next by storytelling. A story that usually teaches you a lesson or has some kind of moral or something for you to take away. And I love the lesson in this story. So as we're reading through this, I would like you to think about what is the author trying to share with us? What is the lesson here to be learned, okay? So it's called The Empty Pot. It's interesting that there's a book that talks about an empty pot. Why are we going to talk about an empty pot? Let's find out. Let's read this book together, friends. The Empty Pot. A long time ago in China, there was a boy named Peng who loved flowers. Anything he planted burst into bloom. Up came flowers, bushes, and even big fruit trees as if by magic. So Peng is great at gardening. He plants anything and it grows beautifully. Everyone in the kingdom loved flowers too. They planted them everywhere, and the air smelled like perfume. The emperor loved birds and animals, but flowers most of all, and he tended to his own garden every day. But the emperor was very old. He needed to choose a successor to, his, to the throne. So he's thinking about finding someone to take over. Who would his successor be and how would the emperor choose? Because the emperor loved flowers so much, he decided to let the flowers choose. The next day, a proclamation was issued. A proclamation is an announcement, so he made an announcement. All the children in the land were to come to the palace. There, they would be given a special flower seed by the emperor. Whoever can show me their best in a year's time, he said, will succeed me to the throne. So everybody came to get uh, a seed from the emperor. And in a year, whoever grows the best flower gets chosen. This news created great excitement throughout the land. Children from all over the country swarmed to the palace to get their flower seeds. All the parents wanted their children to be chosen emperor, and all the children hoped they would be chosen too. So as you see, everybody's lining up and everybody's hoping that they can plant the best flower so they can be chosen. When Peng received his seed from the emperor, he was the happiest child of all. He was sure he could grow the most beautiful flower. Peng filled a flower pot with rich soil he planted the seed in he planted the seed in it very carefully. So he's taking care of his seed. He watered it every day. He couldn't wait to see it sprout, grow, and blossom into a beautiful flower. Day after day passed, but nothing grew in his pot. So he's taking care of it and nothing's growing. Peng was very worried. He put new soil into a bigger pot. Then he transferred the seed into the rich black soil. After two months, he waited. Still nothing happened. By and by, the whole year passed. So he was taking care of his seed and as you can see, the season's changing here and there's still nothing growing. Spring came and all the children put on their best clothes to greet the emperor. They rushed to the palace with their beautiful flowers, eagerly hoping to be chosen. Ping was ashamed of his empty pot. He thought the other children would laugh at him because for once 
he couldn't get a flower to grow. As you can see, his pot is empty and all these other pots are f just filled with beautiful flowers. And he's, he's a little bit, he's a little bit um, ashamed here because he's always grown such great flowers. His clever friend ran by holding a great big plant. Ping, he said. You're not really going to the emperor with an empty pot, are you? Couldn't you grow a great big flower like mine? I've grown lots of flowers better than yours, Ping said. It's just this seed that won't grow. Ping's father overheard this and said, You did your best, and your best is good enough to present to the emperor. Holding the empty pot in his hands, Ping went straight away to the palace. So his father told him, you know, show whatever you did, and that was your best. So he took his empty pot, and he's going to the palace. The emperor was looking at the flowers slowly, one by one. How beautiful all the flowers were. But the emperor was frowning and did not say a word. So all the children lined up with all the big flowers that they've grown. And the emperor is just walking around. He doesn't say anything. Finally, he came to Ping. Ping hung his head in shame expecting to be punished. The emperor asked him, why did you bring an empty pot? He's just there with an empty pot and he has his head low because he's not feeling great about it. But the emperor came to him and asked him why he brought an empty pot. Ping started to cry and replied, I planted the seed you gave me and I watered it every day. But it didn't sprout. I put it in a better pot with better soil, but still it didn't sprout. I tended to it all year long, but nothing grew. So today, I had to bring an empty pot without a flower. It was the best I could do. When the emperor heard these words, a smile slowly spread over his face. And then he, and then he put his arms around Ping. Then he exclaimed to one and all, I found him. I found the one person worthy of being emperor. Where you got your seeds from, I do not know. For the seeds I gave you had all been cooked, so it was impossible for any of them to grow. So, what just happened here, friends? The emperor chose Ping as the new emperor as his successor and he, what he just told all the friends was really important what did he tell all the friends where you got your seeds from i do not know for the seed for the seeds i gave you had all been cooked so it was impossible for any of them to grow so all these friends who brought these flowers they didn't use his seed. I admire Ping's great courage to appear before me with the empty truth. And now I reward him with my entire kingdom and make him emperor of all the land. So Ping was rewarded because of his honesty. Friends, what do you think the message in this story was what was the author trying to share with us that was so important i love the message and i hope that you also share the message with your family go to whoever is home with you look what i just learned from reading the empty pot that honesty is so important and honesty always wins thank you for listening